Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. This is kind of a strange card, actually. I don't know. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their own belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. Hmm. That's the tricky part, that end part there. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 47, NASDAQ down 53, S&P's off 5. Gold, gold contract up $14.50, trading at 2,180 an ounce. We have silver up 81 cents, $25.21 21 an ounce. Copper, copper is up 12 pennies, 405 a pound. Big move in copper, wide price spread, accelerated volume. Check out the consolidation. Copper's on its way to 425 right now. Notes and bonds. Uh, oil, oil is up 227. We'll take a look at that. $79.83 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note, down seven ticks, trading 110.30. The 30 year off 15 at 120.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar is trading down 200. Where are you? No, 170 ticks. 102.787. Euro is at 109. Yen's at 147. British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get the SPY. Right now, trading sideways, down 40 cents. You get 33 million sh shares. Yeah, hanging at the high. Now, the SPY's on an ABC structure up to 421, folks. And we're at 521, and we're at 4... We're at 516. So the SPY has basically, well, five more points to go higher. NDX 100, same setup. NDX 100 is also on an ABC structure on the way up. We take a look at this baby. We're at 441. Now, this one here has some juice behind it. It's 453. So it's going to get intriguing here because that's a long way off from where we are. But bottom line, that's what it wants. And yesterday, volume came in again yesterday. You're going higher. Volume's lighter today. Bottom line, that's a, that's a market that wants higher price. Silver. Find, silver got some juice finally. Let's take a look at it out here. So silver contract up 80 cents right now. Get 70,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. Let me put this on. Because, see, you're going to need this to get through this downdraft. We just got into it. The downdraft from the high was pretty intense, man. I mean, you know, we went, uh, we went almost a buck 25 on the way down. And that has big volume there. So at least we, we stuck into the bar now. Now the bottom line, I suspect, well, this is pretty good, actually. It did one, two, three, four. It did five days of sideways before we get into it. That can get halfway up the bar. If it gets halfway up the bar, build some more cars, it'll go the, go the rest of the way. Gold contract out here. Yesterday, wild day yesterday in the market in general. Um, and gold, bottom line, re rejected lower price out here. Today, you're up with 199,000 contracts, which is great contact volume. And then this just brings us right to, well, actually, let's go to the bonds first. We go to the 10-year first. 10 year had a little volume on the way down yesterday. 1.2 today, though. Look at no no sellers out here. 1.2 million contracts is nothing in this 10 year. Yeah. Yesterday we did uh, 2.3. And you're coming into two, you're coming into 1.9. So you don't have a rejection of lower price yet in the 10 year, but you have a huge contraction in the volume. And then we go into the GDX. We take a look at this gold market. This gold market is taking off like a rocket ship, folks, okay? And believe me, the, the stocks are still really low compared to where I expect they will be uh, in the next uh, six weeks. So we take a look at uh, GDX. GDX is up 75 cents. Now, we need more volume inside the GDX right now because it, it, was, it was a nice rejection of lower price yesterday. You 
you know, you came down with light volume, rejected lower price. There's just not enough buying in here right now. But if it closes where it closes, that's still saying it's going to run up to this $32 area. And we go into the, I got, let me pull this up. Oh, copper. Oh, this is, this is the one, man. Look at, the, look at this. This is amazing, actually. Okay, so the copper contract, you get the wide price spread, you get the accelerated volume. You, you see the whole, you broke the whole consolidation, which is just, you know, that's, this has been consolidating for six months, four months. So when you break a consolidation like this, the bottom line, now watch this. I'll put, let's see, HG1, 425, man, is where we're going. And that is going to continue to put juice under, of course, those equities that mine copper. And what also ends up happening, now this is where this goes. Now check out what this means. Because what happens, folks, you can see we, we had broken the downdraft four weeks, no, four months ago, okay? And then what we did today is what we broke the shorter one. The longer one we had broken, the shorter one we broke. So that basically sets up first the 425, and then the, the larger one up here is, what is that, 502. Yeah, 502, that's a monster. If we go over to the uh, first Southern Copper, we take a look at Southern Copper, and I know what I was going to say. What, what happens, folks, is this. Oh, look at Southern Clap. Oh, my God. Up $9.63. 97 bucks, man. Unreal. TGB, it's not going to be up $9, but it's going to be up $0.20. Cents. This is going higher. And what does happen, this is what happens to all the, the gold and silver equities. Copper is a byproduct, folks. And what, end, what does end up happening is that when copper starts moving, higher prices like this, because there's so many thousands, in some cases millions, of ounces, well, pounds, uh, as a byproduct, that's going to throw more juice also into many of the gold and silver equities. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.